So what you're gonna need is three looms. I usually go up to two and a half, that'll fit my wrist. Three to four colors. Loom with the arrow facing away from you. The main pattern that you need to remember when you're doing this is that some of your colors are going from the outside in and then your opposite color is going from the middle out and that's really all you need to remember with the pattern. So we'll start and my center color is going to be black. So we're going from the center out and in the opposite direction I'm going to do yellow. And then from the center out again, we're using black. And then my third color is purple. And again, we're going from the outside in. Back to black again. So it's a really simple pattern. It just gets very tight toward the end. You can um, double loop the bands for a tighter bracelet, a thicker bracelet. It'll be just like one of those uh, sailor bracelets, the white ones back in the 80s. And you just keep following this pattern all the way down to the end. So we turn the loom around and now the arrow is facing us. So before we start to loom, I'm going to pick an arbitrary color, I'll pick blue, and put it over these three, make a triangle, these three pegs right here. That'll act as a capping band so we don't have to put them on three times. Um, when we're done with the bracelet, we'll just be able to take that blue band out and nobody will have to know it was there. Okay, we're gonna go in to the left and grab the first black band holding down the blue capping band. And we're gonna bring it up to the middle and form that teardrop shape. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now we're gonna grab the top purple band. And go over to the left where it originated from, again making that teardrop shape. We're going to have to hold these down until we get to the yellow bands. Okay, we're going to come to the left and grab that black band. And do the same thing on the right. Fold that black band over, go underneath the blue cap band, grab the yellow, go to the left, and then to the right. 
three. And so we're always gonna start with the black and then go in the center and get the colored bands. And this is gonna be your most difficult hole right here and then it should be smooth all the way to the end. Keep in mind you always want to have that teardrop shape. If you don't have that, you've grabbed a wrong band or have gone to the wrong side. There's going to be a lot of tension on the bands, so when you're pulling it over, kind of wiggle it into the center so you don't snap the band. What I like to do periodically is to take a peek underneath and make sure there's no bands sitting on the bottom. If there are, you have to back yourself out and, and reband from where you left off. close it up what I'm going to do is bring these group of bands And once we have that done, we're going to grab two black bands. I'm going to go down inside, grab the bands. Pull them up through. And then we're going to make a slip knot making sure we have all those bands. Now again, I'm going to look underneath and make sure there's no bands hanging out on the bottom. And we're going to start to undo the bracelet. I start at the sides first because there is so much tension and I'm just gonna gently Take them off the side pegs.
Here's our bracelet. So this was our starting cap band. We're just going to break it apart. We're going to go in here, grab those two purple bands, and pull them through the black band. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to put the four together and do it one more time and then we're going to put our seat clip on. Just gonna double up these bands. And there you go. There is your small basket weave.